Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine and this story is not about the chart, today we're gonna review some of the news. So we have the official confirmation from our Ministry of Defense that the Russians wanted to get to Slavansk, sorry, Cyrillic letters here on this chart, but anyways, they wanted to offend from Izum towards Slavansk, but we successfully defeated them near to Delina and Bogorodichne, forcing them to retreat back. The ex president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, was spotted in London city. He is with his daughter. He actually successfully left Ukraine on his third attempt. I don't know what he did there abroad, but I think the strong leader should stay now in Ukraine. He positioned himself as still as the leader of Ukraine. I voted for this guy, however now I support Zelensky, not the Petro Poroshenko, because during this war he showed not a good side of his. This table here shows average price of fuel per every region of Ukraine, and I was lucky enough to refuel my car today. I got full tank and I paid two dollars per one liter of benzene. And I know that in some of the European countries the fuel is more expensive even compared to Ukraine, even though we got this fuel from European countries, well, maybe we have some kind of discount, but still we have a not regular supplies and you have to wait long queues before you have your petrol. This is Donetsk. It wasn't under fire for those eight years, as Russia said, but now it's under constant fire and we have some information that this was fired from Russian controlled territory. This is the self-propelled artillery system peon very powerful and long range we have them in our army since uh, they are soviet made but also russia has them in their army russia's officials say that they are not excluding the joint military operation here in ukraine including other countries like armenia belarusia russia itself it's already going Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, but I think it's not real. Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan, they are fighting with each other, they have some conflict, they have some questions on their territories and they want to ask them to join the conflict. Pashinyan will never join it, well Belarus helps Russia to use its territory as the hub for attacks on of their rockets and their army. Kazakhstan, no, I don't think so. Wet dreams of Vladimir Putin. Sad news, we lost our Suhoi Su-27 and it was a friendly fire. Very bad situation. It was some kind of miscommunication with uh, inside our army. I don't know about the pilot, whether he survived or not, but bad news. Boris Johnson with his tweet here saying that UK will give us MLRS systems equipped with special rockets up to the range of 50 miles, which is longer compared to United States systems, but still I think we're gonna wait for longer range in the future. Boris Johnson is a great friend of Ukraine, my friends. Mostly Ukrainians like Boris Johnson, but I know he has probably some issues with internal policy in UK, and just now that I'm recording this video, there is a vote on going going to dismiss the Boris Johnson from his position of Prime Minister of UK. I don't know what may happen next. I know that he violated some COVID rules, his own uh, published rules, but um, as for average Ukrainian, we we like Boris Johnson. <laughs> this is the Belarusian army promotion banner that is used to say to the people that it's good to serve in Belarusian army to get some new meat. <laughs> uh, so here are the prices. It's Belarusian rubles over here and this is United States dollars. So uh, for the driver is $368 per month, my friends. It's per month. Just imagine how poor Belarusians are. Putin gives $5,000 per month for his Oryx and here just 368 I think it's, it is not good advertisement for Belarusian army. Uh, this is the image, it is not a uh, good quality, but uh, this is the road that goes from Bakhmut to Lysychansk, the main supply road for Ukrainian army and Russia prepares to cut it from Papasna. They still enable, they cut it just once per half a day, then uh, there was a country 
counterattack from Ukrainian side and we took it back under our, our control. But still, without this supply line, it would be very difficult for Ukraine to deliver goods uh, to army in Lysychansk and Severodonetsk. It's just for you to see this Russian Solnce perk, how it fires in a close range. It's not long range artillery systems, but it used some kind of vacuum bombs. And I think that one was phosphorus. So it's forbidden weapon, actually, according to all conventions, you cannot use uh, those uh, bar power bombs and phosphorus, but Russia uses it. This is the Ukrainian fighter jet that was accidentally shut down. So you see, my friends, even though I'm Ukrainian, I support Ukraine with all the means I have. I still provide you with uh, detailed and truthful information. I don't like Russia, I hate uh, orcs and I hate Russian army, but still it's better to speak truth. Truth is powerful tool that will help us to win this war. Minus one more Russian general, General Kutuzov lost his life on the battlefield, then he was unable to command from the distance. It tells that the communication lines are very poor in Russia, so he went to the front lines and was killed by Ukrainian forces. I think it's 13th Russian general that was killed. It's unimaginable number, my friends. Just imagine losses of Russia during this war. I think their army will be knocked down. If there was no nuclear weapons in Russia, of course, they will be just devastated. I don't know if this is real because we have it from Dotru domain, so Russian domain, but anyways, <laughs> it's funny to read. The military prosecution of United States opened the case uh, about one of the guy who p accidentally put <laughs> two tactical bombshells to Ukraine delivery. So actually those uh, two tactical bombs were delivered, as they say, and there was uh, the sergeant, Matthew Kovalchuk, Kovalchuk, <laughs> Ukrainian <laughs> surname. <laughs> He was in charge to prepare the delivery to Ukraine of 150 containers. Each uh, should carry two of the rocket, uh, rocket ammunitions to HIMARS artillery systems. And accidentally, they put two of the nuclear uh, missiles with nuclear warheads. So Pect Pentagon will punish that guy <laughs> because Ukraine got two tactical nuclear uh, weapons. I don't know. It's a different one. It's just a bomb for on some kind of uh, air carrier it's not according to this art article my friends but anyways i think we should not give those shells back to united states shall we <laughs> the recent map of uh, russian invasion of ukraine published by the british defense ministry and as usual we have our counterattacks near to Kharkiv and mikhailov Russia put their forces near to Serdanetsk and Papasna and Izum, of course, as we know from the recent news coming from the front lines. The Ministry of Defense of Sweden will give Ukraine sniper rifles uh, AG-90 and 5000 RPGs AT-4s. Um, Wow, interesting. The FH-70 artillery that's gonna be in Ukraine front lines, uh, thankfully to Estonia and Italy. Estonia helps us a lot, my friends. They spent one third of their military budget to send to Ukraine. They sent the most modern equipment to Ukraine. My friends, we're not gonna lose this war. Uh, those tanks, uh, T-72M1, were coming from Poland. And we also have the BTR, YPR765 from Netherlands, uh, so they're already on the front lines. Yes, my friends, Poland helped us a lot uh, with our refugees, with everything, with military help, with aids, and as you see, other countries like Netherlands also sending their BTRs to Ukraine. Awesome. <laughs> Russian vodka, they put ZV symbols on vodka to attract more customers. The Putin app. <laughs> the Russian society is mostly in poverty. They don't have the future. So the only activity they have is coming from the factory home, watching Russian zombie TV and drink vodka. 
and after that we'll have this result of the war in Ukraine. DIY rocket artillery system that made by Ukrainian enthusiasts on the front lines but still it can shell rockets my friends and it's very easy to make those and um, yeah why not it's a Mitsubishi L200 pickup car that is quite popular here in Ukraine. Good news also from the Greece they will give us uh, 122 BMP ones uh, I think armored vehicles like this 15,000 ammunition shells, uh, 73 millimeter. I don't know for what. 2,100 rocket artillery shells of 122 millimeters and 20,000 AK-47s. Well, AK-47 is quite old automatic rifle. Mostly we use AK-74, but nevertheless it's automatic rifle. Karotich airport was bomb shelled, and as you can see, there's the Yakovlev 52 was destroyed. It's not the military. I think it's just a local air club, you see. Uh, Yakovlev 52 and other planes were just devastated. There was a huge blast. You see how deep this hole because of the blast, and yeah, the air club just devastated. As for airline pilot, it's hard for me to see this, my friends. And also, like general aviation, I like to fly the small planes as well. And now nothing left, yeah, in Karotich airport. Mi-17 has been loaded to Globemaster C-17 on the way to Ukraine. As you can see from the paint job, from this livery of the helicopter, it should be flying for Afghan forces. Mi-17 is a nice helicopter, but we need, I think, also assault helicopters like Apache. I don't think that at this stage United States will give us Apache helicopters or F-16s. It depends on the situation on the front lines. Good news coming from Spain. They are ready to supply Ukraine with anti-aircraft systems as well as Leopard tanks. Thank you very much, Spain. Self-propelled artillery M109A3 is already here in Ukraine, given to us by Norway. Thank you, Norway, for your kind support. Slovakia sends to Ukraine the Dana, I think it's Dana artillery system, looking like a bug with a huge gun on the top. Well, it looks funny for me, but it's very effective, my friends. So they uh, cancel the delivery to their own army just to deliver those uh, things to Ukraine. Thank you so much, Slovakia. This Russian helicopter was taken out from the bottom of the Kiev water reservoir and, yeah, pilot died. I think it was uh, Mi-24 or Mi-35, they are very similar. The Ukrainian self-propelled artillery system Akatsya, it's been used a lot during this war and you can open this hatch and enjoy the fresh air while riding. This tool is very effective, but you need to still to use this kind of not very precise equipment to shell uh, the rounds to the enemy side. Modern rocket artillery systems, they have the gyroscopes inside the rockets and they also have the GPS guidance, so it's very precise compared to this one. But still we have them, we fight Russians with that and it's great. And this is the example of how our artillerists work. So Russians vehicles were spotted near to the big hunger. Uh, that hunger are farmers or something. And two of the Kamas, as I see, they are the special vehicles to provide the interference in the communication and drone control. And now they're being shelled by artillery. The second round missed the hunger to the field. That is why we need more precise artillery systems so the second the third shell went into the spot and we have lots of it's like a movie you see a filming from the drone obviously this farm was working to provide food for people and now what we see is just uh, you know devastated seeds uh, hungers that were used to store the seeds uh, that's why we have the global crisis food wow that one was big that's why we'll have the food crisis, my friends. Oh my god. I think we hit something inside. This blast was so big. And still enough, we'll have enough food for Ukrainians, but not for the rest of the world. It's very bad. Oh my god, the fire is coming. I think Russia had their... Whoa, yeah, of course, ammunition. They have their ammunition depot there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Yeah, obviously it is the ammunition depot. Governments of the listed countries here recognized what is happening here in Ukraine, this war, as a genocide against the Ukrainian people. I think it is. I think for sure after what they've done to Bucha, after what they've done to Mariupol, killing thousands of civilians, my friends, there is no any other opinion should be on Russia in this war. We are fighting for our freedom and they are invaders. They should be punished for what they are doing here in Ukraine. My friends, I'll keep you updated about the situation here in Ukraine. Now press the like, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you can, you may support me on Patreon or PayPal. My friends who support me, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are. Have a great time.